Hello everyone, Captain Bravo back with another video today. I am sorry it's been so long, but it's been a very, very busy month. So I'm coming to you today with a Force of Will deck, um, which I recently started playing. Great game. Alright, the deck I am here to talk to you about today is my Vlad Tepes Control Deck, using a red, black, and green build. Alright, so just a little background. The purpose of a control deck is to stop your opponent from doing anything they want to do. You need to stop them from summoning, stop them from using their spells and whatever counters they have, and pretty much just frustrate them as you chip away at them. So first off, what Vlad does, it she is a darkness uh, ruler. What she does is you can spend two will and drain 200 life points from your opponent, and then you gain 200 life points as well. So you can do this as many times as you want per turn, and even after you've rested Vlad for your magic stone. On the other side, Vlad's J activated aside. Now, usually you do not want to J activate her since you want to keep using her draining effect as you're stopping your opponent, just keep draining their life points. However, if you are in a desperate situation, you can J activate Vlad Tavis by paying two dark. When this card enters the field, destroy target resonator with total cost of three or less, and you gain life equal to that. Monster's Defense. Now you can pay two dark and two whatever other will and banish the Darkness res Resonator and Vlad gets Imperishable until the end of the turn. Now for certain magic stones you want to use, since we are going to use mostly green in this deck with um, some red spells and such, you want to use uh, the magic stone Feet Sing, True Magic Stone. It is a wind magic stone, and you can rest it to stop a wind resonator or ruler from being targeted for that turn. Other stones you want to use are magic stone of black silence, which is a black and green producing stone, since you are using some darkness cards as well. Other stone you want to use is magic stone of blasting waves, which is a green and red producing card. Definitely very important for this deck. Now. There are some, there are many builds you can make for control. However, the recurring theme, as it seems, in control has been the six sage cards. I run three of them myself. I'm working on getting Feet Sing, Holy Magus, a win. Now, the main six sage you're going to use is Feet Sing, the Elvis Oracle. Now, she is a quick cast by, she's a two green drop, two other will drop, so a total of four drop. When she enters the field, she gets a knowledge counter. And then, like many Six Ages, she gains more knowledge counters as Six Age enters the field. Now, you can remove a knowledge counter on Faith Sing to uh, cancel a target spell, unless the controller pays one will. So with this, you can negate a summon, negate a spell, um, even negate an addition, since it doesn't say specifically like normal spell or summon spell. Now another quick cast we have here that does not use this one does not use knowledge counters is zero the magus of no. It is a three drop two dark one regular. It's a seven five monster. Now this when it enters the field it drains two hundred power and life from your opponent's resonators till the end of the turn and makes them lose flying, which is can help you out of a pinch. Now, the red Six Sage you're going to play, since this fits with the burn aspect of this deck. Remember, this deck is burn and control. <clears throat> Millist, the Invisible Ghostly Flame, a two red drop, 6-3 monster. By removing knowledge counters from this card, you can deal 300 damage to a player or resonator for each one removed. Other such support cards you can run are Susanoo, the Ten Fist Sword. This is a six drop, only... You can take off three fire if your opponent has a dragon. It's a 12-12 monster. It has swiftness and pierce. Um, when this enters the field, you can take an Ame no Habakiri, more on that later, um, from your hand and add it to this card for no cost. And when this card is put in the field, you can choose a resonator and deal damage to it equal to Sasano's attack. Another one you can use is Scheherazade, the Crimson Teller of the Moon. Oh, Teller of the Crimson Moon, excuse me. She is a 112 monster. Uh, two green, three normal drop, so five drop. 
When this enters the field, you choose a race, and as long as Scheherazade is on the field, that race cannot attack you. So that is pretty good in the control deck. Only run one of these, though, for the heavy cost, and there's other things you need to put in your deck. For example, other such staples of a green control deck are Elvish Priest. It's a one-drop, one-four monster. By resting it, you can produce one Winnie Whittle. Also, Familiar, familiar of the Holy Wind, a one-drop green, 2-2. Uh, when it enters the field, you can draw a card. You can also pay a wind and banish Familiar to deal 300 damage to a Resonator. Now, another card that I run, even though you don't need to use it, I just find it useful for um, quick attack. Hunter in Black Forest, it's a one-drop, 3-3 three, three red monster. It has Swiftness. One of my personal favorites that I use here for help in the control and clearing the field is Mozart from the Van Gogh set. Very nice. It's a 2-drop, two 2-2 two, two darkness creature. When this card is put in the graveyard, your opponent is forced to choose one of the Resonators and banish it. Even cards, for example, like Athos, the Musketeer card, when it's equipped with cruci Crucifix, it can't be targeted. However, Mozart's effect can skip around that, and your opponent is still forced to um, banish, and if they control only Athos, they have to banish an Athos. Pretty sweet. Now, moving on to spells. There is one darkness spell that I use in this deck. Stoning to death. I run four of these. It is a two-drop instant uh, darkness spell. It destroys a target resonator on the field. Any target resonator. Unless, of course, you know, it's one in, such as an Athos situation can't be targeted. Now, other such staple spells that we have in this deck is... One such as Absolute Cake Zone, a two-drop green spell. This negates a target spell, so that would mean a summon or a normal spell. It does not negate uh, J activations or additions. Now, if you also control a Hansel or Gretel, you can draw a card. Now, although I don't run Hansel, um, Gretel is still a card you want to run. It's a two-drop green monster, 2-2, two -two, uh, for power and life. When it enters the field, you flip, off, flip up the top card of your magic stone deck and then if it's a wind stone you can play it so really you want to be playing mostly wind stones of this stones of this deck if you can um and such spells exceed the ancient magic which works with feet sing the holy holy magus of holy wind which you draw a card when it's on the field and you play this this cancels any spell so even additions not j activations though third spell i run is art of sinbad a one drop green this is pretty much a negate attack card. Whatever damage would be dealt to you or your resonator from a target opponent's resonator um, is negated. However, this does not apply to J rulers. Not as many cards do, although one I have coming up does. Now, oh, this is fun. My very favorite red spell, Thunder, a one drop card. This is an instant spell. This deals 500 damage to a player or J Resonator, which would be, of course, um, J Ruler or Resonator, which is indicated by a J, a forward slash, and a Resonator. Um, this is an essential card for any red deck. Another such great card is Purifying Fire, a two-drop red spell. This is a chant. This is not instant. It's unfortunate. Um, this deals 700 damage to a target player. Now, I may know how to carry what I mentioned earlier, which works with Susanwo. This is an addition to Fire Drop. This gives 400 power and 400 life to one of your Resonators. Now, when this Resonator deals damage to an opponent's Resonator, your opponent is going to take that damage equal to that uh, Resonator's attack uh, if that monster is destroyed. For example, say I've equipped this to Susanwo. My opponent, no, actually, let's have this, Hunter of Black Forest. I attempt to attack. They block with Hunter of Black Forest. Hunter of Black Forest is destroyed. Amino Habakiri's skill goes off, and 16 damage is dealt to that player, since that would be the attack of Susanoo. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so that's pretty much... The Vlad Tepes control deck, red, black, and green. Um, I know I'm missing a couple cards that I wasn't able to show you, so sorry for that. 
But pretty much most of what I have here is the staples of what you want to play, with exceptions of, say, like Hunter and Black Forest. Um, but still, again, it's all depending on your own play style, what you want to play. This one's built to my specifications. Um, it may not work for you, but definitely combinations of some of these cards would help. Now, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Please do rate and subscribe and leave comments below about what kind of deck you would like to see me do next. Remember, I do Yu-Gi-Oh, um, Bloody Fight, Vanguard, and Force of Will. Uh, thank you. Hope you all have a wonderful night.